How to create a spectrum sweep? Well, of course, the question before this is, what is a spectrum sweep? Well, spectrum sweep is a way of reducing the time it takes to perform a sweep. If you sweep from one frequency to another, and you do it in a linear fashion, it takes quite a long time. But there's a way that you can apply many frequencies at the same time. And the spectrum sweep does this. And you do a spectrum sweep like this. You click on File at the very top menu, and you've got these selections here. You click on Create Spectrum Sweep, funnily enough, and this form comes up, Create Spectrum Sweep. Now, I'm going to create a sweep between 100 kilohertz and 200 kilohertz. Those frequencies are just random numbers that don't mean anything. So I'll call it temporary or temp program name. Spectrum low frequency. I enter in 100,000 hertz. And I'll, the spectrum high frequency is 200,000 hertz. Frequency tolerance. Royal Rife found that a frequency tolerance of 0.025% was required for adequate um, killing. And so I'm going to leave that. Frequency application time. This means during the sweep, each frequency is being hit for 180 seconds. And so we'll leave that. That's three minutes. Wave cycle multiplier. This determines how many frequencies are being simultaneously transmitted. If it's 96, it means that there's 96 different frequencies either side of the set frequency, which is a lot of frequencies being produced simultaneously. Now, the problem with this is the power that's being produced by the spooky remote is being divided into 96. And so each frequency is getting a very low power signal. If we leave it at 96, you'll see that the total duration time is 23 minutes. I'll change that to 32 and see what the effect is on the total sweep duration. I've tabbed out, and that is now 1 hour 5 minutes. I like using 32 for a wave cycle multiplier, and that will be the default for Spooky in subsequent releases. In the top left hand corner, you'll see that I'm running Spooky 2 0401. This is the upcoming 1st of April version of Spooky 2. It's a very late stage beta. It's going to be released in a few days' time. The final tab here is frequency hits per sweep. There's a facility where you can hit our frequency many times. And so I want to hit it two times. The sweep duration has doubled now to two hours and eight minutes. But that's not a big problem because it's using Spooky Remote. Spooky Remote, of course, you set it up and you walk away. You don't have to worry about it. There's three different ways that Spooky2 can apply a spectrum sweep. There's a regular or single spectrum sweep, which uses just one output. There's a dual converge sweep, which uses both outputs. And there's a dual weighted sweep. Now, for the purposes of general um, Spooky2 um, explaining, these um, they're too complex for explaining now. We, can may, we may cover that in a different session or a different video, but just leave everything else as the default. And so I've set the program name, set the frequency range, I left the tolerance as it was, left that as it was. I did change that, 32. I could have left it at 96, but I feel more comfortable having more power at each frequency. So the power 
is divided into 32 frequencies instead of 96 frequencies, and I save it. Are you sure you want to save and exit? Well, I think so, so I'll press yes. Now, because that frequency has been added to the database, Spooky2 must reload the databases. Okay, now if I go to the Programs tab and I clear the search button, because there's so many programs in the database loaded into Spooky, loading list one will take a bit longer and it's now incremented the program count by one. If I do a string search for the word temp, and I try and find my custom program that I've loaded. This is the program here, the one that I've just created. The notes which get put here are manual settings that you must set in the settings tab. And so X equals 32, spectrum equals 33.333. So because I've created a program, I'm not going to use a preset. I'm going to do it manually, which means going into this screen here. The wave cycle multiplier for the square wave that has been selected, I'll set that at 32 in the spectrum of 33.333. This is advanced stage, so if it looks very confusing, don't worry, I will be covering it more in another video. I'm going to increase the amplitude to 20. And I'm going to have an offset of 0. So we've got maximum signal swing. I'll do the same for output number two, zero. I'm going to select output number two for inverse plus sync. Inverse plus sync means output number two will follow output number one in the frequency. I'll select the program again, which I'd created, temp. Allow generator overwrites. Load the temp program in, and I press start. You can see the sweep has now commenced. The sweep duration being two hours and eight minutes. We can leave that running in the background. We've got these generators still running, doing their programs. You see there, this program's now advanced to the fourth step. It's been running for 10, 11 minutes now. And so it's a fully independent multiple generator control system. Okay, so that answers the first question, how do you create a spectrum sweep?